Hi guys, how you doing? Um, I gave my word uh, to uh, the awesome peeps on Ready Group that I would <laughs> do some cooking, get in front of the camera um, and, and do some cooking. So I was thinking about what I could do that was fast and easy and um, something I love to do. So I uh, came up with uh, strawberry jam. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, strawberries, lots of fruit is in abundance right now, nice and cheap and uh, so I want to make most of it. So without further ado, <laughs> this is, here we go. <laughs> okay so strawberries in abundance right now in the stores. I got these down in Chinatown, gorgeous beasts, uh, 129. Um, which is a, a punnet, which is awesome for me. And uh, what I always do, because they're in the fridge, is I take them out the night before and I put them on a tray and let them breathe. I put them out in a sunny place in, the, in, a, in my front room, actually, my bedroom, and just let them breathe, which has two great effects. One is they breathe and they get riper and sweeter, so it's even better for the jam. And two, my room smells awesome. So um, that's really cool. And uh, this is basically here we go. This is what you need. So uh, I'm taking this off this book here, which is called Food in Jars. It's an awesome book. I got it in the Strand Bookstore, which is a really great secondhand store for books in Manhattan. Uh, but you can go online. We all know YouTube. There are some amazing um, channels in there, which I can help you with if you don't know them. Um, the, the key to successful cooking is always in the prep. So before you start doing anything, I want you guys to get everything ready. So you find your jars, you get your water ready, you know, you get your ingredients, you find out what it is you're doing, get everything ready because then it's seamless and um, goes a lot more easily. Okay, so start cutting, babe. Take off the top. Take off the center. Some people hold them. Take out the center. Um, if they're especially juicy, like if there's been a rainy season and the strawberries are really juicy, then you could do that, but quite often I don't. Um, some of the strawberries are bruised. I like the bruised bits because you know what? That's even more sugary. But obviously if it's moldy, then I'll just cut it. Put that in the bin. Check the rest. And put it back in. Um, obviously the smaller you cut it the less time it has to um, boil and uh, come to fruition. Yeah, see that's a white bit there so I'll probably take that bit out. Just hull it. This is called hulling. Quite a lot of jams they, you need pectin. Pectin is the thing that makes it gel um, but I, I'm lazy so I like to do the jams where you don't need pectin. Also it's cheaper that way. Um, but you see, once you get your, once you have your bag ready, you can just push to the side, left, right, okay, nice and fun. So I'll work through the whole tray, and then I'll come back. So we've done our strawberries. We've hulled them. Um, I've put them in the uh, bowl here. Four punnets of strawberries makes about ten cups uh, in measure, okay. So there's a little bit more than the recipe in the book asks for, so I'll just adjust my um, flavoring accordingly. Um, I'm not an exact science chef. I am a let's have fun and if this tastes good then I'm a happy kind of chef. <laughs> so uh, next thing we do is a thing called maceration. We take our sugar. Jack Frost was on sale in the store, normally $3.49. It was on sale um, $2 a bag right now, so I've made the most of that. Bought one for cooking now and as always I bought another one, put it in the cupboard up there for later on. Got to make the most of those sales, okay? Maceration means um, taking your sugar, about a cup, a little bit more, and uh, pouring it over your strawberries. And then just mixing it in. The smell, if this was scratch and sniff right now, you would be salivating. The smell is amazing. And what starts to happen is that the strawberries have the juice pulled out of them by the sugar and uh, makes them sweeter. Now some people also um, liquidize, they pulverize these strawberries into smaller amounts so there isn't quite so much pulp. I don't do that. I like chunky, I like the chunkiness of it, but that's something you could also consider doing if that's what you wanted. Okay, so we'll let this stand for an hour. I'll cover it of course and, um, and then we'll come back. Step three, 
zest, the juice of two lemons. I like to get that ready too, so that I'm ready to go when the time is right. So um, on the fine grate, um, I've zested these lemons. Uh, just take the skins off like that. I could probably do a bit more, but I'm not. It smells amazing. Um, nice fine consistency, so it'll help dissolve. Um, best way to cut a lemon, I find, is like this, but sometimes I forget, cut it that way. Like I said, there is, n I mean, I'm sure there are perfect ways of cooking, but the most important thing about cooking in my books is to have fun and not feel like you have to live up to some, like, super chef reputation. Just get stuck in, and you can adjust taste and flavour later especially with sweet stuff, um, to, to suit your needs. But the most important thing is to get stuck in and have fun. So um, cut the lemons whichever way you want. It's fine. And if you don't have lemon juice uh, like this, you can use lemon juice out of a bottle. Um, it's okay. <laughs> After an hour of sitting, this is what you're going to get with your strawberries. The, the juice really will be pulled out of it. It's fantastic. Um, so you've got your strawberries. You're then going to add the rest of your sugar. This is roughly four cups. I'm using my bells. Um, I'm, sometimes I replace the four cups of sugar with a couple of tablespoons of this ambrosia. Ambrosia is a mixture of royal jelly and pollen and propolis. It's a great thing, has a very unique flavor, and um, I love to use it in, in all of my jams as um, a healthy alternative. Um, so sugar, berries, zest, juice, take those out, I have to remember to do that, and put them in here, and put the heat on, and stirring all the time, otherwise you're gonna get burnt bits down the bottom, which is going to change the flavour of your jam. Stir all the time, um, bring to a boil. And now I'm just going to fold everything in and stir so that it doesn't burn at the bottom. And I'm going to bring this to a boil. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, isn't nature amazing? Look at that. Cheers, God. That's pretty cool. Look at that you made this. I can never get over colours. Wow. Okay, I'll come back when it's boiling and we'll, I'll show you um, how you can tell when your jam is ready.